Hi, how's it going? My, my name is Cortland Crane, and I am a person who stutters as well as a graduate student in the speech pathology program at the, the University of South Florida in Tampa. Um, and I really wanted to make a video today talking about the journey that I went through during high school as a person who stutters. I really want to help to give important insight to um, other speech pathologists, to family and friends and parents of people who stutter, and of course to people who stutter themselves. <laughs> And I really just want to give advice to those who stutter and are also in high school right now because, you know, high school can be an extremely scary time for um, people who stutter. And so, you know, I want to kind of sh share my journey and kind of how I've, you know, overcome a lot of the insecurities I dealt with in high school. So to start out, um, the summer right before my f f freshman year of high school, I actually m moved from f Florida all the way across the country to Colorado. And we moved to this really, really small town in th the mountains. And um, I was starting at a brand new school that had about 20 kids in my grade. So incredibly small school. <laughs> and right away, I am terrified. You know, walking into this brand new school, having to introduce myself to all these new people again was just extremely nerve wracking. So what I actually ended up doing is I, and this is really bad, but I changed my name <laughs> from Cortland to Chad. And um, everybody knew me as Chad. And the only reason why I did that was because I was afraid to stutter on my own name, name when I would introduce myself to um, the new people at the school. And it's actually not even like this helped at all because right away when I started at this new school, I was extremely shy. I didn't talk to anybody really. Um, I was insecure and I was a huge introvert. So starting at this new school, the first two months I was there, I actually ate lunch in the bathroom all by myself. And then eventually my mom um, actually came and picked me up from school and uh, uh, brought me home at lunch and then took me right back to school afterwards and then the entire rest of the year which was about like four months or so i um i would just go to the library at lunch and just play on my computer and and stuff <laughs> every s s single day when i walked into that school i feared feared stuttering in f front of others I can't even remember one time that I raised my hand that entire year. Um, I just, I avoided talking to people as much as I possibly could, you know, and I never really put myself out there to try to make f f friends or anything. So when the um, end of the school year came around and I was transitioning to my sophomore year of high school, I begged my mom to, um, to let me switch to online school, um, to not go to a regular school anymore. And eventually I convinced my mom enough <laughs> to let me do this, which was really bad. <laughs> because essentially my entire sophomore year, I spent, um, you know, doing my classwork in my room on my bed <laughs> and then um, afterwards when I was done with my work I would hop on a bus to Boulder and I would go th 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 thrifting all by myself every single week of that entire year 
Um, and yeah, I was just really lonely. I did not make any friends. I didn't talk to anybody really. And um, yeah, that was hard. You know, cause like th thinking about it now, um, what kind of social life am I setting up f for myself when I'm just li living like a her, 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 hermit crab? Ooh, that was a good stutter. Um, just not talking to anybody and just spending so much time all alone by myself. So as my junior year was approaching, my mom actually forced me back to go to a regular school again, which, um, you know, at the time I was really upset about because I was kind of getting used to not talking to people again. Um, and then, you know, ultimately her sending me back to a regular school was really what changed my life. I actually stopped going by Chad and I started um, using my own real name again which is Cortland. And I was really proud of that because that was a huge, huge boost in my confidence. I also started getting more involved at school. I joined the band class. I joined the yearbook team and I really, really enjoyed doing that kind of stuff. It was just fun. And um, it was kind of like a real high school experience for, for once. And what I realized that year is that when I started to put myself out there more, when I started to um, talk to people, to take risks, I realized that, you know, everyone, everyone there was very accepting of who I was. You know, they didn't make fun of me or anything because, you know, I was really vulnerable with myself. And I said, hey, you know, this is me. This is who I am. And it was great because I started actually making friends again. This was the first time in my life that I actually kind of looked forward to going to school and talking to friends there. And a lot of that actually resulted from um, that, that year I started going to speech th 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 therapy again. And f for the f first time in my life, um, I started working on the emotional aspects of stuttering instead of just trying to increase my f fluency. And I worked with an incredible speech th 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 therapist named Dr. Ryan P P Pollard, and he changed my life because he also stuttered. Um, uh, he's over at the University of Colorado in Boulder. And, you know, working with him, he challenged me to kind of go out of my comfort zone, to talk to people at lunch, to take risks. and. He taught me what it was like to have confidence and accept myself as a person who stutters. Um, he also introduced me to Camp Say and um, you know told me about the National Stuttering Association and, and all that stuff. So that year was really a huge, huge stepping stone in my life and kind of built the foundation to where I am today you know, as a grad student in speech pathology. So once my junior year was uh, was coming to a close and I was moving on to my senior year, um, my f family actually m m moved back to Florida from Colorado. And unfortunately, when we did that, I started going to online school again. Um, I kind of regressed a little bit. I lost a lot of my confidence when I moved back to my hometown. And I was kind of afraid of stuttering again. So that year was actually kind of helpful in a lot of ways. Um, that was the year that I started working out. That was 
also th the year that I went on my my very first ever date. I actually had two dates that year, so I was very proud of myself at the time. <laughs> and um, yeah, you know, that was just kind of a, it was a weird transition going to online school again and kind of experiencing those fears around stuttering, but then also in other ways coming out of my shell and building my confidence up again. And looking back on it, honestly, I really wish that I went to a regular school for my last year of high school. Because there really is, there's a lot that I missed out on, you know, including going to, to prom, to homecoming. Um, you know, I really missed hanging out with f f friends after school, um, making those c c c connections with other kids in my classes, um, joining sports and c c clubs. You know, there's just a lot that I, I really wish I experienced during my last year of high school. So in conclusion, I had a lot of ups and downs in high school with my stuttering. And I really hope that this can kind of give some insight on what it's like to go th through high school as a person who stutters. And I know that a lot of um, other people who stutter out there have had totally different journeys and experiences in high school. Um, but this is just my personal story, and kind of what I went through. So I want to leave this video off with a few words of advice for people who stutter who are either in high school right now or are going to be, you know, entering high school in the future and, you know, you guys could be pretty worried about it. So I just want to remind you guys that these couple years are years that you guys are going to remember for the rest of your life. So, so, so really, really try to make use of it. You don't want to look back five years down the road and th think about all the what ifs, you know. Why, what if I went to prom? What if I went to homecoming? What if I, I talked to more people? What if I tried to make friends? What if I joined this club or I joined this soccer team or the tennis team? There's so many what ifs and what I really want to remind people out there is just to take that jump, to really try to have confidence and just be, be, be risky, you know, with your stuttering and um, realize that there are so many opportunities that are waiting that you can thrive in. You know, I want high school to be a really fun and exciting time in your lives, you know, and I want you guys to experience high school in a way that, you know, maybe I, I didn't really get to experience. Because looking back on it now, there is a ton of stuff that I wish I could have changed. Always, always, always remember that your voice is worth listening to. And that your stuttering is only a small part of who you are. You know, you are brave. You are confident. And people love you. So, you know, show the world who you really are. And allow everyone else to experience the joy and the happiness and the uniqueness that you bring to the table. Because you are worth so, so much in this world.